Welcome to a sold-out Hard Schlock Stadium, home of the Diami Krakens. You know they're named after a monster sea creature, so the fans are called Finns. That's because they're trying to keep the team afloat, Grim. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The New York Tyrants go up against the Diami Krakens. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said, how, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. Steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And there's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> and it's first and ten. play defense well, of course he, he could have had an interception returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game but I don't want to nitpick second down and ten and the quarterback throws a murder ball which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it this really puts the don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking I mean when they're not young First and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. Great play by the defense. Results in an interception. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. First and ten. That was a good throw. And assuming he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say in the deli, who's next? Well, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and nine. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way.
And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Nice hit. Third and two. Kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And another interception. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. sandwich second down and long his cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score Seriously, now, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, with the punishing hit! And it's first and ten. Running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First and ten. And like a monkey trying to... He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And that'll be second down and four. Almost intercepted. Third and four. Oh, with 
with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why I'm at. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Hot. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, they're gonna... This guy's a brick shit house. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Looks like he just saw 400. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he? Bricks wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but what the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Well. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The home
home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. They call the warp speed dirty brick. He's so bad. He finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. And the defense here, this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> well, look at it, extra crispy. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think you wanna hit those last two runners for this Ackman. And it's first and ten. He is rolling thunder and poor man. He just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. Rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brick. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. <laughs> Sticks moving, he picks up five on that play. <laughs> 
Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Third and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. The lineman swats the ball away with those meaty paws. Lot, I look so snugly. Yeah, I guess if you're a monster. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. Oh, great tackle! When it's oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same bloodmobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. First down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your aunt. Hey, it looks like we've got a penalty here. Yeah, you're done for I'm only being an hour. And it's first and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Hot two. And he's off to the races. The 20. The 10. Great shoestring tackle. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're looking to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And that 
was a bone crusher right there, folks. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Boom, dead and down. You deliver the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwich, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, uh, uh, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about that two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Second down in a lot. Oh, great. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Third down and, well, good luck. Keep a good mutant down. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. Second down and seven. And they have every oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Hey. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off right. The crackheads win at home by forfeit. And that sure beats a sharp stick in the eye, especially if you poke the other guy with it first. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I pay for admission, I expect girls to dance on a pole or something. Girls, win. I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Grim 
Blitro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhar Corporation. They get it right every up.